Hey everybody, tonight I'm going to be showing you guys how to back time in Tribal Wars. So first off, typically I personally think this is something that's more of a one village to like three villages, but um, I know later on in the game it can definitely be used. It just seems like the person that you're back timing usually gets stacked or something like that. So essentially what back timing is, if you don't know already, is so this village will be sending troops at this village and uh, this person is going to dodge those or dodge that attack and then uh, bring the troops back in and then send them back so that they land uh, milliseconds behind the uh, original attacker. So first off to, to explain to you guys you know, how we're going to do this is we're going to show you this with um, an actual noble attack. So I'm going to send this in and let's say we, you know, we need to stop this noble from nobling our village and uh, in this scenario, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, okay? So one offensive village versus another offensive village. Uh, it can be also very useful when you are playing in like the new world right now, uh, world 93, when it's a point where you might have, you know, thousand troops on a thousand troops and you might be able to take out somebody's entire offensive army by back timing. So it's really, it's, it's a really good thing to know. Uh, okay, so right here, we're actually going to use this village to send the troops at this one because it has less troops. So we're going to send those troops at, at this village. Send, uh, uh, we're going to send two nobles for the heck of it. So send the attack. And this here is you, the, the defender. And what you're going to see is this attack coming in and you're going to label it. And you're going to label it as nobles because you know that uh, that's the speed that's going to be coming in. Uh, just so you guys know, for this video, I am going to be using premium uh, for the uh, quick bar and also for the map to kind of speed this up. And uh, I do think that most of the people who are going to be um, doing this are going to be people with premium accounts. However, there are enough people requesting uh, that don't have premium accounts. I can very well show you guys how to do the math manually, even though it can be a pain in the ass. So uh, you go up here in settings and you hover down the quick bar. And you're going to be uh, adding a new uh, a new link right here. However, I already have mine created, so I'm going to edit. And this is the text I'm going to be putting in the description below. Or you can pause it and uh, turn your definition up on your YouTube and try and uh, copy it down. So you can change the name to whatever you want to. Uh, it's a really nifty script. It gives you a bunch of calculators. So uh, you can play, with, play around with that yourself. And maybe I'll do some videos on the future ones. Uh, so you can click it. And this is going to pop up. And you can either click, yeah, so you can click yes and it'll bring you to your overview, or you can just click your overview and it'll bring you here too. And then you can click calculators again as you're in your overview, and this time it'll actually load the, the calculator. It's just that the script needs to be on overview to be able to load it. Okay, so this is the information you're going to be plugging in, and you're going to create another tab, and you're going to go into your village and into your attack, and you're going to open that up and see all the information that you need. So right here, this, the origin is going to be 398, 478, so 398, 478, and then the destination village is going to be 396, 480, 396, 480. So uh, that's all set up, that all went in good, and then you have to take this time, copy it, and we're going to drop this time right in here. So the slowest unit here is going to be a nobleman. And we're going to calculate that. And in a scenario when it's uh, when they don't have a nobleman and they have a ram, and you are all you know, are are also trying to send rams at them, you can't do it on a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Uh, you have to pick a troop that is you know any troop that is slower than the troop that they're sending, because obviously when their attack gets to your village is when you need to send your troops out, and you wouldn't be able to do that really uh, realistically. So they might have um, sword speed attacking and you could attack with like cavalry or uh, spearmen or axemen or something like that. Or maybe they only send light, uh, light cavalry and axemen. That's also a very, uh, very realistic scenario as well. And in that case, you'll only be sending your light cavalry to back time them if you have a, enough of them. So that's, I mean, that's just in a one-on-one -on -one scenario. If there's more villages, obviously you can send whatever the hell troops you want to send. And, uh, as long as you can calculate the times properly. So we're going to calculate this out. And right here is going to be the time that those troops get back into his base. So I'm going to put this time up here in the notebook. I like to use this notebook sometimes. 
and I'm going to save that time. And what I'm going to be calculating out now and trying to figure out is seeing the walk distance, how long it will take. And, you know, I want my I intend to send rams. So as you can see, the rams are uh, an hour and 20 minutes away, an hour 20, 49 to be exact. And if you want to add these uh, these walk times and the troop counts and that kind of thing, uh, there's a setting right down here. Uh, and you can just tick that and um, so you have that information right away. Okay, so 1 hour, 20 minutes, and 49 seconds. So 1, 20, 49. And then we're going to put it in here, and we're going to subtract that time. 1, 20, 49. And the reason that we're subtracting that time is because if his troops get back at this time, and this is the walk distance to that village, uh, we need to make sure that we're sending those troops to land right after his. This is our ram speed. We're going to subtract that time off of there. Uh, in that in that script that I showed you right here, you can actually use this time calculator, which is really nifty. It really helps with making errors. I know it's simple math, but a lot. I mean, you'd be surprised. Well, actually, probably maybe not at how often you can make an error, especially if you're calculating out a lot of things. So, this is our time that's going to be landing, and we're subtracting off our uh, walk time. So one twenty forty nine. One twenty and 49 and then we get 6 44 37 6 44 37 so this right now is going to be your actual send time for your troops and this is going to be one that you're going to want to make large and you're going to want to make it bold because you need to remember that time so just keep in mind that this is the actual send time of the attack uh, because uh, when you're looking at it, it can kind of get confusing sometimes. It's like, let's say I'm attacking, and you're going to see two numbers, and y you might be looking at the arrival time, but you know we calculated out the actual server time that we're going to be sending. So just make sure you're looking down here. Also, this is going to be a lot better for checking ping and whatnot. So now we're going to give it some time, and I'll come back as soon as this attack is about to hit. So you can really dodge his attacks whenever you want to, um, but me personally, I like to kind of wait so it's pretty close so that my troops are just right back in the base if for some dumb reason I need them. So uh, it's like 20 seconds until the attack or so, so I'm going to send these troops out to pretty much any village, doesn't really matter. Uh, and sure enough, uh, I can wait a couple seconds. And then I can just go ahead and cancel my attack if I know that it was it was out for a while and uh, it won't be returning back in until after uh, this attack hits. So attack hits, uh, loyalty, if we refresh the page, will be dropped. Yep, right here, loyalty dropped by uh, 23 there. And sure enough, we have all the, vill or all the troops in the village and they are ready for the back time. However, we know that back time isn't for another couple minutes. So I'll be back in a second here. Okay, and now we're back here, and uh, we got our times. So it's 44:37. Right, click here, send troops 44:37, and it's going to be ram speed. We go down here, and I'm watching right down here for the time. Okay, so we got seven seconds coming up here. So one. Okay, so now hopefully we got it. Uh, as you can see from my end, uh, the attack's going through. If you want to figure out if this time's right, uh, you can look here and uh, com uh, compare it with this this one up here. And uh, as you can see, uh, I'm a second off, uh, which is actually horrible. But uh, honestly, I'm not going to remake the video because it's super late and I'm pretty much just about had it. And I'm ready to check in for the night, but. Uh, if we go from this village overview, we can see that uh, this attack is returning 0525, and then this one's re returning at 0526. So this could have been a math issue. Uh, I know I clipped out the video a bunch of times, and uh, and I'm pretty sure I uh, mixed up some numbers in a couple of spots because I had to like change some numbers around and. Uh, so that could have been the source of the problem. I mean, still, if this attack is hitting a second after, uh, a very good portion of people cannot or will not be able to um, 
get their troops out of there in time. Uh, there are some ways to do that. I might make a video here in the future, but as of right now, uh, we're going to call it good enough. And uh, this attack is going to be back timed. And like I said, there's a very good chance that it's going to be successful. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you uh, manage to back time that person that you're attacking.